Let's talk about Kyle Muller. The Braves' number 5 prospect announced himself with two strong starts, allowing one run across nine innings while striking out 12. The 6'6 lefty features a 94-mile-per-hour fastball that he can run up to 97, and a combination of solid breaking balls and a curve and slider. As we can see from Alex Chamberlain's pitch leaderboard, both secondary pitches have produced strong swinging strike rates so far and well above average CSWs. A large part of that has been because of how successful Muller's been in keeping the pitches low in the zone. It's also because of the confidence he has to attack with the secondary offerings. This is a 3-2 front door slider that buckles Joey Votto. A rookie having the confidence to throw that pitch to a hitter like Votto tells me a tremendous amount about his mindset, and I love it. However, there is a slight worry that the curve only has a 23% zone rate right now, which means its success is because Muller's getting a ton of chases out of the zone. Part of the reason for that might be the beauty of Muller's pitch mix. If we look at the spin direction graphics, we see how perfectly constructed the pitch mix is. The slider and fastball approach the batter at similar trajectories, which makes them harder to differentiate. Muller's curveball is also a near-perfect mirror of his fastball, which can make the two offerings a deceptive pairing, as we can see here. Using a 3D view, we can also see how the fastball in red and slider in yellow tunnel relatively well before the slider bites down. This makes it harder for the hitter to decipher which pitch is coming, which we can see in motion here. In his last start, Muller also showed a competent changeup, which might not be a bad fourth offering, and the deserved ERA metrics so far support the success of his three main pitches. However, Muller's success will come down to his command. Right now, his fastball is catching too much of the center of the plate. He's gotten away with 97 in the minors, but he'll need to be better about hitting spots if he wants sustained success at this level. I do like that he's used his fastball exclusively up in the zone in two strike counts, which has me optimistic. But there is some worry that hitters will stop chasing Muller's curve and force him to keep it in the zone. He's currently throwing more pitches in the chase and waste zone than league average, and while he's getting more swings on those pitches than league average, that might not last. With Muller's command issues in the minors, it's a legitimate concern. However, he's made clear strides this year, and it's not uncommon for a young pitcher to improve as he tries to stop being so perfect with his offerings. I think the ceiling is legitimately high, so I'm willing to bet on the plus raw stuff and dynamic pitch mix and add Muller in most leagues.